Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Any Tech Review. Today I am bringing you a review of an eerie there, the Kubo Aura. Well, you might be asking why would you review an eerie there in the days of iPads and tablets? Well, when you want to read, sometimes you need something that does only that. And Kubo Aura, considering its price, it's a good device for reading for long times because it uses the e-ink technology. So let's get into it. First, it's a uh, second edition. The back, it says, uh, it's the, the information is 6 inch, 212 ppi HD ink. Carta, uh, the battery life is up to one month, which is another good thing regarding this device. It has four gigabytes of onboard storage, and unfortunately, it does not take SD cards, which is something that you might want. So, okay, so you will be greeted by the device itself. Um, of course, it has been opened and used for me to be able to review it for you other than that down here uh, there are some uh, information and cables to charge it uh, yeah USB uh, to mini US uh, to micro USB and all the papers so now the device itself it has a nice finish to it the back is it doesn't slip easily so um let's turn it on so it turns on on the last book that it was showing uh, i'll take it back to the home page there so you can get books from uh, the libraries uh, around you. You can buy books from Kubo store, which is around here. And you can load your own books to it uh, using, uh, the if you have a PDF, just uh, load it with USB. Or uh, if it's an EPUB, you can also load it on this device. It syncs. Um, via internet so that you can read the books that you are reading on this device on other devices such as iPads with the Kobo app um, but it will know where you are and it will start there so now a little bit about the device itself as you can see it shows me the recent books and PDFs I've been uh, reading then there is a browser which is on a beta mode so it's not the best of its kind and um, to be honest the touch sensitivity of this device is not that good um, it's hard to type on it especially if you're typing on the stuff that are on the edges for example here um, it's hard to press a dot. See, I was intending for a dot. It did the enter. So um, that's with that. You don't really want to use it as a tablet. If you want that, there are cheaper tablets that do more. Uh, but as a device that is solely for reading, it is a good device. And the battery life is the main selling feature alongside with the um, ability to read it without it hurting your eye and one last thing if you want to read it um, during night it has a light that by just uh, going like that I'm not sure if you can uh, figure it out in camera um, well the camera keeps adjusting to the screen but I'm um, Turning the lights uh, low, um, you can do it from here. Okay, there. So 
like that. And the good thing about this device is that it actually allows you to uh, reduce the light to 0% which means it's completely off which some other devices, uh, for example Kindle Paperwhite which is a, a competitor to this device does not do that that goes to 1% so you still have light this is not backlit, they call it frontlit because the lights come from the side so they don't directly come to your eye so um, as the device itself you can uh, get the measurements uh, it's not that thin considering the newest iPads available and it's not as light as it sounds but um, so this is the um, device itself the sides the other side you have a micro USB port here and that's the only port you have and then over here this is the button that is the power button also sleep button it can put the device to sleep and um, also they sell a cover for this which is a sleep cover which I will review next week so please stay tuned for that if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more please subscribe and thanks for watching